<laughs> Very fractious on retro recipes. On Kit's arrival, he had been all but left for dead. His insides hanging out, his voice all but gone. But with the love and care of one man, we started to make a difference. And it seemed Kit would live to ride another night. Let's continue bringing Kit back from the dead on Retro Recipes. Now, you might think it's cool owning Kit, but in this heat, even the previous owner's hot glue is melting. But what really makes me sweat is being watched. <laughs> Can't blame him. I've done the same thing in the past. But yes, let's fix that heat issue before we do any more work. Now, as Kit came from the UK, he doesn't have air conditioning. So I asked the clever chap with amazing hair at Ace Customs what he thinks we'd need to buy. The operator, the condenser, all the lines, compressor. Or we can fit a vintage air Gen 4 system, but including labor, we're apparently looking at over $8,000 for all the work. And with baby Fractic on the way, I just can't justify that with no guarantee it would actually work in this car. So instead, let's try this camping AC, at least for when I'm working on the car at home, which came with free unexpected ASMR. Even with the air conditioning, it's still a little bit warm in here. I feel like I've installed a shower. But what's even cooler is what our friend also shared with us. So I've worked on the original kit car. No way. Yeah, and they're over at Universal. Some of them are still there. They're sitting in the back lot. So what did you used to do on the originals? We're moving them, that's really it. Yeah. That was transportation. So you would go from the studio to location? Yeah, make them run enough to move them and that's yeah. it. Well, talk about a small world, huh? And what was also just around the corner in this small world was the smog test place. Although the staff weren't quite as friendly. Excuse me, do you do smog tests? Hello? Hello? Honestly, AI is getting exhausting. Anyway, we got it sorted in the end and he passed with flying colors. Now, speaking of AI, before we go too much further with this video, I do want to update you to something I hinted at in an earlier video. Are you saying you're working on a project involving AI? Uh, Kit wasn't meant to interrupt me and spoil things there, but I have been working on something with someone much cleverer than me who's doing all the hard work. I'm just kind of providing testing and uh, ideas. But here is a quick preview just to whet your appetite, and we'll do a full video about that coming soon, so make sure you're subscribed. But um, let me just ask Kit something, and I, this is going to be completely unscripted and impromptu. But um, Kit, you're, uh, you're on YouTube now, and this is actually the first time a true AI kit will have been seen by the world. How do you feel about that and being on YouTube? It's an excellent platform for sharing information and ideas. I'm here to help and engage in interesting conversations, just like we used to do with Michael back in the day. Thank you, Kit. I'm sure that teaser was uh, more than good enough to whet the appetite. Um, I will be connecting you directly to the car so that you're speaking out of the correct voice box, so to speak. I hope that makes you happy. I'm sure this will make our interactions even more seamless and authentic, just like in the good old days with Michael Knight. Have a great day. As you can see, there are a few kinks to work out, but I hope you enjoyed this teaser. Next up, as you know, I am missing a back hubcap due to a very unfortunate incident. 
Where is it? Did it roll all the way down this hill? I have purchased a brand new one from nightriderworld.com. They make these out of injection molding. I'm gonna put it on that. As you can tell, it uses a more robust system than the original. I don't think that's going to come off. Five hours later. I just picked up our lunch and I found this on a curb, sitting like this. I thought I lost it near the police station. Oh no, it didn't even make it out of our neighborhood. Wow. Yeah. Good thing I saw it. Cause... Thank you. Very nice. How much? Um, that's going to be $800. Okay. Well, I'm just going to use my wok to cook some food now. Oh, well, this very kindly returned to us by Lady Fractic. And yes, that did, did really happen. I've learned that we're meant to zip tie these to those bases, which are now bolted to the car, before you bolt them to the car. I don't know why they don't tell you that on the website. Uh, apparently, I'm not the first person to make this mistake. I don't know why they don't give you some instructions with them. Having said all that, it is incredible that we even have these options. That's not coming off. All right, fingers crossed they stay put this time. Today is to get these TVs working. They don't work at all at the moment. And as it's 108 degrees, I've got the assistance of my biggest fan. Now, all these things hanging down. I think the ribbon cable came out of there. It's just up here. It's in here. It's not even possible to get that in. Then you've got to close this lever on the port. If you can see what they look like right now. I'll show you in a moment. Get in. Close. Can I do it? First thing I'll show you what I look like right now. So now that ribbon cable is in its hole. Oh, I'm in a bit of a hole. Fortunately, whoever did this previous job has used everything but what you're meant to use. Okay. I've solved most of the issues with some wire twists and some heat shrink here. But for now, I think we've avoided most of the short circuits. Okay, so ribbon cable one is in. I think I did it. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This doesn't look too promising. Let's see if we can order some new ones. Who said owning kit will be easy? So to hopefully fix all our problems, I bought these. So now these are out. Let's look at attaching the new screens to these surrounds. Before we get to the really exciting work, you'll by now have noticed how many PCBs there are behind the scenes making this whole thing possible. And I should mention that PCB Way make great PCBs, but I bet you didn't know that PCBWay.com even features a dedicated automotive section with hundreds of car related PCBs that you can order from just five bucks. So go check it out because as we all know, PCB stands for Perifractix Cardboard Boxes, doesn't it? And these are made by the same company. Also donated the Opcupoc Opcupoc microscope that I featured in a previous episode. And 
in this episode of How to Ruin Your Favourite Soldering Iron Tip. I've been quite critical of black electrical tape, but I can't think of anything better to cover that logo. setup. It feels more robust and uh, less wires dangling everywhere. Let's go install our luxurious two-screen kit TV in the car. And to get power for those TVs, I'm going to take it from behind the radio, which I've disconnected again. Um, Tap into that yellow one with the fuse on it for the 12 volts from the battery. We also need a ground there. Yep, all in there. So we now have our live 12 volt and our ground cable. three grounds. Two are for the TV, one is for the Android player, and we have our ground connection here. There we go, grounds are grounded. Power for one of the TVs, power for the second TV, and power for the Android player. By the way, you might remember some episodes can't use floppy disks, so I'm also using floppy disks to load all of the TV footage. There are several different types of fuse. These are ATC. <laughs> now we turn the car on and hope it doesn't explode. No explosions, which is good. And just hit power. Oh, and look what's working. The TV's working. Yes. Hello, Christian. I'm the voice of Night Industry 2000's microprocessor. So one thing I've done as a temporary measure again until I get this whole dashboard out is put these two bits of black reusable putty in there. Basically black tack if you're familiar with blue tack in the UK. Uh, this is the black version. Um, super sticky as well as extra strength. And that's holding the TVs in actually quite nicely. Ignition on. Now I found a bunch of really cool kit animations for his TVs on YouTube and I'm using them with permission. I've also sent a couple of animations by George's channel, huge thanks George. These were actually created on a Commodore Plus 4, especially for this project and they'll be appearing on the TV screens in kit as well. Hey viewers, would you like to enjoy high digital life? You can with the mini HP media player. Beautiful, it's actually tiny. It's lovely. Mm. Here are the two drives that I've prepared. This beam. Oh wow. HDMI is all the way up there. Okay. And we are now copying from the flashcard to the local device. on. It's going to give us our screens. 
So there's a button on the back where I can change the input source. Yes. Is this remote going to control them both together? <laughs> okay. We'll see how that goes. Miles. Oh, this is so much easier. I've intentionally renamed the files slightly differently so they don't play in sync. I actually love that it's not in sync, but it's kind of showing the same thing. Because it looks like Kit is performing a specific task, and he's kind of at different stages of it. Okay. Two perspective, two camera viewpoint of the city, which incidentally is the city where we are. Now, as you may remember, the previous owner had installed these very weak LEDs in the scanner. So let's replace it with something better that really brings Kit back to life. Very nice. Harness motion sensor, basically, and a new remote. New control box. This time with a speaker output. New one of these. Broken in transit. And all this has is these blade connectors. One for each halogen bulb. Yes, they just get their ground from the metal bar touching it there. And you can see there's a, a ground connector here. I think what I'm going to do is just try and undo that work. Tidy this up. See what we can do. A mess. You can follow the cable for this all the way through into the firewall there. And it plugs into the back of the uh, scanner control box here. That's surprisingly satisfying. I may not actually trash it, it's kind of a cool piece. Definitely is going to look a lot smarter, isn't it? And actually, this has the same power connector as the old one. And this goes to our surveillance speed dial. We do provide a remote control. Battery in there, do we think? We need to find out. <laughs> oh, wow. That's for where to fit it. I think up here somewhere. Right now, the live and the ground travels behind the radio. So I'm going to reroute that live or reroute it, if you're American, uh, to up here to our new fuse box. So it has its own fuse, and it's most importantly on the switching power supply, meaning I can turn the whole system on with the ignition, instead of having to use this separate button. He said he installed this to use at car shows, which I guess makes sense. You don't want to leave your keys in the ignition. But for me, I'm not really the car show kind of guy. I just want to enjoy it for myself. So let's do it. Put that on uh, Facebook Marketplace. I don't suppose Kit or Michael ever needed a mobile phone charger, did they? Again, five amps should do. So let's turn the ignition on. <laughs> oh, wrong. We have the lights on, so we've already blown a fuse. I'm really confused by that. 
Maybe it needs more than five amps. That's reasonable. It's a lot of lights. Let's give it a 10. Yeah. So it turns out we've blown this fuse. See, this one's okay. This one's not lighting up. That is the radio fuse. So it's that old fuse, which I think means we are overloading our circuit. So it turns out I'm an idiot. I've been thinking in terms of LED power requirements because these are halogen. No wonder the five or 10 amp were blowing because it needs 40 amps. But uh, this will do great. And I can put into this 40 amp fuse. Actually, this one. <laughs> Just about in there. We have to tidy up the previous person's work a little. Next up, we're going to fit our fuse to our fuse holder and put this in line in the footwell. All right, we now have a fused cable running straight from the battery. That is hot, so I'm not going to touch it to any ground right now, or I'll explode. <laughs> so if I've done everything correctly, we should now have power. So if I hit A. So you can turn it on and off. Somewhere you can change the pattern. There it is. So these mimic the ones that are programmed into the original kits. As I discussed when I went to meet one of the real kits, we talked all about and showed these original patterns. It's a little bit more car-like, K-A-double-R. Or is it that? Ooh, party mode. What do you think, Mr. Lizard? some speakers. The next job is to try and thread the speaker cable into the cabin. <laughs> oh yeah. I just need oiling. Turn it on there. <laughs> oh man, now we are night riding. I actually feel in a weird kind of way that for the first time I'm seeing Kit. Doesn't that, oh, that really does something. Oh, so cool. All right, he's got major league goosebumps. That's kind of, just makes him seem like he's alive. I really feel like I'm being watched. She feels a bit like I just brought him to life wake him up after many years in retirement. Hope he doesn't mind. Well, we're losing the lights a bit, but let's see if we can get some sound out of that scanner. It's alive. We also have the option to put an amplifier in later. And even though it's late in the day now, I can't help walking past and doing this. Now 
after everything he's been through, how about we treat Kit to a full spa experience ahead of a grand finale photo shoot that we're about to do. I think he deserves it after all the happiness he's given to us. Don't you agree? No applause, just a wash and wax, please. <laughs> you got it. as ravishing as he does. Even though I don't want the attention myself, well, the car just gets attention, whether I like it or not. And that means as a duo, we get to make dreams come true for other guys my age. And girls, of course. Yeah. You can take a photo with it if you want. You don't mind. Yeah, no, please feel free. I would love that. You okay being on YouTube? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Now I bought this little wallet to keep all my documents in and um, must put my ID in there as well. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine, why? But a better question would be, is this really the grand finale? Well, no, this is just a milestone, okay? And the end of the beginning chapter. I have so much more planned for this series that I don't think it will actually ever end. For example, as you can see here, I've decided to add some faux tea tops. Come on, get in. But plans for the future include that AI integration, of course, real tea tops, working air conditioning, and when I've saved up the funds, even a remote control and electric conversion. But for now, I'm just happy and I'm just gonna enjoy it. And call me sappy if I don't share with you that I really feel like I've got a new best friend here. <sighs> I hate to be the one to break this to you, but automobiles are not human. Fine. Well, to my friends watching, thank you so much for sharing this journey. Subscribe and support below, and cheerio. One man can make a difference, Perry. Or one woman. Or dog. The Fractics. Lone curators in a vintage world. The world of retro recipes. <laughs> <laughs>